Siege Pong is a tower building, ping pong throwing dexterity game. It's for two teams, it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. To set up a standard game, each team builds a tower of 12 cups, placing clusters of four cups at a time. Three cups, rims up, are called towers, with some liquid inside, and then one cup, rim down, called terrain. All cups must touch at least one other cup in the castle, and every player starts with three cards. The gameplay is a series of three stages. First, each player on the team takes a card from either the deck of fate or the queue, and then chooses one card to discard. Second, each player may play as many cards as they want. There are class cards, which give that player special abilities for the rest of the game. There are cup grades, which strengthen and protect your tower. There are special throws, interrupt actions, as well as knights, which will go down the field and destroy opponents' knights or towers. Players can also choose to spend their cards for another throw or to add something to their tower, or to demolish something on the opponent's tower. And finally, the third stage is attack. All the knights you own will advance, and every player on the team gets a throw. If you sink a ball in a tower, the other team must remove it with one hand. And if you were to knock over a terrain cup, that would also be a goner. Now there are three ways to win the game. One, destroy your opponent's castle completely. Two, build your castle so it's worth 18 points. Each tower on the first level is worth one, second is two, third level is worth three, as well as any points from the cup grades. Or finally, if the deck of fate runs out of cards, then whoever's castle is worth the most points wins the game. What I like most about this game is that there is a very good balance between the throwing of the ping pong balls and the strategy of building and protecting your castle as well as playing all of those cards. That was really well done. Unfortunately, and this really surprised me, the game was harder to get to the table than I expected. People were worried it was going to get everything wet, which it doesn't, or they just thought it was going to take too long, or they really just weren't interested in it. Now personally, I think it was a fun game for specific situations, but again, it ended up being harder to get to the table than I expected. So I give it a 6 out of 10 stars, and that is Siege Pong.